Peter throws wine at Camilla's face in the epic finale of The Real Housewives of Cape Town. Peter threw wine at Camilla's face in the epic finale of The Real Housewives of Cape Town. Sunday saw the end of The Real Housewives of Cape Town, and to say it was dramatic would be an understatement. The show had a slow start and had viewers worried that it wouldn't live up to the excitement the other shows in this franchise have brought. The viewers soon realized they were wrong. The show ended up being one of the most watched shows on Zancy Magic. The drama leading up to the final assault between Tato and Camilla had been building for weeks on the show. Tato was the undisputed center of the show's attraction, with her wild behavior, short skirts, her sharp tongue and the fights she got into. Tato and Camilla seemed to be close at the show's beginning. The two even had a spiritual discussion because Camilla always said she was spiritually inclined. Camilla always seemed to worry about Tato's well-being and talked about her over-drinking. Tato was also close to Bev in the beginning, but a shift started to happen in the middle of the show, and it seemed Bev didn't like Camilla, she even bought sage to burn inside Camilla's house. The dynamics began to shift as Loveline grew closer to Bev after Tato and Bev fell out. Tato exposed that Loveline's husband was having an affair and that Camilla was nearly killed by her husband to the ladies. Loveline started to build a bond with Bev and Camilla from there. Camilla has always been seen as mean, and Tato has carefully watched her. On Sunday, Camilla, Bev and Loveline revealed that they were starting a winery business. The three came up with the housewives reserve, this was seen as a backstabbing move and a ploy to bring Tato wine down. Love Line was suffering from pull-down syndrome because she was teaming up with Bev and Camilla to destroy Tato's wine business. Calling it a cheap pepsec, meaning boxed wine. Camilla investigated Tato and called her a fake winemaker, and that's when the red wine glass was emptied into her face. The show has been trending since it aired on Sunday on social media. Rush was seen as aloof and uninterested in the show, Rookie was the no-nonsense type, while Lou became a fan favorite for being a fair person. The show has become one of the channel's favorite shows. And the viewers are looking forward to the reunion, which will be fireworks judging from the snippets. Leave your comments in the comment video below, don't forget to share with your family and friends.